program. Yeah. Developed in 1984. Why? Uh, 1984 was one of the five wars. Right. And it was bad. Lebanon, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was so bad that there were no no bodies to pick to harvest, to pick oh. the fruits and the, you know, to harvest the crops. You'd have to pull the people off the front line. Right, you can't right. Do that. So they put in a plea for volunteers to come and uh, pull the crops, okay? Because you could send money, but it wouldn't solve of it. Of course, you need bodies. That's it. So that's how it originally started. Interesting. And then it so, expanded from the... Just one year, 1985, picking. They realized that if they could relieve the soldiers who were forced to stay here in the base and repair the tanks mm -hmm. for crop duty, they... They could see their families. They could see that not only the families, but the volunteers good. could replace them, and that's mm -hmm. what we did. That's a great we repaired idea. the tanks in this right. particular base. Other mm -hmm. bases, it was a hospital, sure. a medical, or uh, uh, all kinds of things that the military needs. So that, that's an interesting switch. Rather than send you to pick crops, you go in, you relieve right. them, so they go back to right. their homes, they get a little R&R. &R There's a as word well as called, right, called yeah. Milawim. Milawim is a three-week period that every soldier... Every male, female, must give to the military every year. Okay. They must volunteer. Right. And the, uh, their employers know that they go on milloween. Milloween. That's coming. it. That's yeah. part of, yeah. uh, you know, you leave your job. As a matter of fact, I had two calls from Israel today. Uh, one is Yoel. Oh, he was... In, oh, Yoel, I met him. Did yeah. You, yeah, he, he was the over naval, here. The, yeah, yeah, the yeah. naval officer. Right. His daughter's getting married June 17th. Oh, wonderful. And they said they hesitant, they hesitate to hold the wedding unless we come. You're kidding. Are you thinking of going? We're going. Oh, that's wonderful. We're going. That is great. I love these people. Oh, man. What Steve, an adventure. I, uh... Uh... They're people as people should be. Which just doesn't mean that they're perfect. No. no. It means that they have failures, but they spiritually and with moral morality, they can live with each other and care for each other. Somebody falls in Israel, they slip, they trip, or mm -hmm. whatever. Immediately, a crowd gathers to help. Wow. Here, if somebody falls here, oh, they walk good around. Good Samaritan, them. you yeah. don't want to get involved. Right, you don't. Because they if walk you get around. a little bit involved, now <laughs> you have responsibilities. Yeah, they'll sue the ass off you. Right, because you didn't go 100% or you didn't take them to the hospital, you only right. helped them, and then right. a car right. hit them right. later. Right, right, or oh, you man. did the wrong thing right. in helping them. Right, 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 right. So, anyway. That's fascinating. Yeah. I would love to see Joel again. Uh, well, we're going here. The only thing Yo, yo. Yo, Yo. The only thing is, if you and Janice can make some time, yeah, I'd love to get you into the volunteer program. Wouldn't that be cool? Now I guess it's cooler in what September or oh, October. Oh, you mean weather-wise? Yeah, right, right. Uh, July a is probably a lot of rain not, now. A lot of rain yeah, now. Yeah, I just spoke okay. to them today. They had torrential right. rains, which is good. They need it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, I, one of the big expenditures in the government now is to build desalinization plants. Oh, wow. And the price of water is yeah, going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't realize the good fortunes that we have here. Oh, oh yeah, we pay for water, but it's a trickling. It doesn't mean to anything. It doesn't mean anything, right? Um, incidentally, I had a call yesterday from George, a dear friend of mine who lives here. Uh, he works for an air service, an ambulance air service. And uh, he's based at the airport here. And um, he says, guess what, hi? He says, I had the thrill of my life today. Oh. He drove, does the name Stella mean anything to you? There's lots of Stellas that I love. Yeah. Uh, family Star. name. Star. Oh, you mean the last name is yeah. Stella. Oh. This was a Hungarian electrical engineer yeah. 
who really invented the light bulb, not Thomas Edison. You're kidding. So no. this guy, it was Thomas this like the, the grandfather of, or the grandson of, of the, the real guy? Of the invention of, of ah, no, 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 Stella, the... Stella is the name. Now let me tell you, this, tell yeah, you yeah. the story right, first. Right, right, right. So George says to me, I had the thrill of my lifetime. I drove a pure electric car around the airport. Here. Oh. And he starts talking to me because he knows that I'm so enthused about uh, new energies. And, sure, you know, sure. One, um, he says it was flying like flying a, a 707 fly. You, it, you can't imagine the thrill. Mm. Uh, this thing goes. I can't. I wrote a book about electric cars. I Is own right? an electric car. Is that right? Yeah. Anyway, so we'll, I want to hear tomorrow about this. we're going to look at an electric car to be bought. It's oh. called a Stella, the Stella Model S. Stella Model S. Right. It's um, um, a uh, seven-pass.